Well, you're looking for some great Halloween crafts to make with your kids or even just by yourself. If you love Halloween, one idea is to decorate your house with these homemade spider webs. So cute. Also, you can make these Halloween terrariums out of mason jars. And Raquel is here. And the thing I love about this is uh, it's a great way to save money on Halloween stuff's expensive, mm -hmm. but you're recycling. You're recycling. You're using some old trash bags hey. you might have around, your mason jars, your old your old Halloween stuff from last year. And it's also preparing you for Christmas decorating oh, because this is kind of the same concept as making a snowflake, and then these are like Christmas snow globes. Snow globes. <laughs> snow globes. So to start with this first project, you just need a trash bag. Which is really simple. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. When you were talking about this whole process, I was like, oh. Chances are you have this at home. I, at least I hope you have this at home. That I, <laughs> I do. And then you take the trash bag, you cut it into a square, and then you fold it into a triangle, fold it again into a smaller triangle. You know, a little origami lesson here. There and then go. fold it one more time. Okay. And this is the shape you're going to use to cut it out. So if you liked making snowflakes as a child, this you will is a love great this. project for you. You will relive all those memories. And then once you're done, you're going to want to draw out this pattern that we have and right here. And you already did this, but explain how this works. It kind of... It's kind of like making ribs on, yeah. <laughs> on a sheet of paper. So you draw in some circle lines and then keep going upwards until you have this pattern that you need. And if you need to see this pattern again, we have it on 9news.com slash fix this. We have a photo of it, so you can just take a look and kind of copy, copy what you it. see And you really here. can't mess it up too bad. No, no yeah. matter what you do, it's still going to look like a spider web. Awesome. And once you are finished with that, you're want, you want to cut it out, and once you cut it out, it's going to look like a spine. So you have this little edges here. Can I and open then, it? Yes, we'll do I'm the big reveal together. Reveal, reveal. Okay. Woo. And look at and that. And there you go. You and have these are great a spider for, like on the front door and the lawn. Because like I said, you go and you buy this stuff and it really adds up. Yeah, I got this at the dollar store. It came with six bags. So really it's practically nothing for this great project. Love it, love it. And then this other one, I think this one is so absolutely fantastic. Oh, everyone walking by my desk really want to know what this was. They loved it. It is a ha Halloween terrarium. And I basically made it out of things that I had stored up from Halloween of Halloween pasts. So what you do is you take a jar and then you can go to a craft section and find some sand. I picked black sand to get into the spirit. To start it out with the mm -hmm. sand. And at the dollar store, I found some black roses and purple roses and then you just kind of toss them in there. And, and it really looked like in this one you added some gems or some I added some marbles. gems. I found a, some lights too. You can get them once they go on sale too at the dollar store. Dollar store is our friend. Yes, and then you just keep adding in these little decorations until it looks exactly like you want. You really can't go wrong. Okay, all this, of course, 9news.com slash fix this.